Hello, in this video we are going to look at what is solidity. So let's just dive right down to it. So just so you know, this is the solidity logo. I'm sure you know what this logo refers to. This refers to the Ethereum blockchain logo. If you want to know more about Ethereum, I've got a separate video covering that, how it differs to Bitcoin, the advantages, disadvantages, all that good stuff. Feel free to check that out. So Solidity is a programming language. It's a programming language. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And it's used to write smart contracts, you know, cr create smart contracts, I should say, not necessarily write, like write an application, write in that sense. So write develop smart contracts. If you want to know more about smart contracts, again, got a separate video covering that, but just a brief overview. It basically, cuts out the middleman and it allows a transaction to occur automatically when a condition is met, when some sort of business logic has occurred. Again, got a separate video. Feel free to check that out for more in-depth analysis of what a smart contract is. And the implementation of these smart contracts are done on blockchain platforms blockchain platforms and services so it's all related to creating blockchain systems and it is the primary language it's actually the primary language for ethereum based platforms so if you want to look more into programming for ethereum or blockchain in general sort of blockchain in general then solidity is the way to go it's also the primary language on private blockchain platforms that can compete with ethereum so it also is for the competition as well of ethereum blockchain platform so even if you're not interested in creating ethereum based applications it is useful and the primary language used for creating the competition as well a big player swift we all know swift if you don't swift allows the transfer of money globally so from one country to another it helps facilitate that through a messaging system not messaging like whatsapp or messaging that allows you know entities in one country like the uk where i am to send money let's say to china for example using their messaging identity system also the big code is part of this ecosystem you might have heard of that the banking international actually i can't remember what it stands for that's embarrassing but yeah i can't remember what it stands for but the big code is very crucial i think it's banking international code and what swift has done is actually deployed a POC a POC which is a proof of concept using the solidity running on this is running on the hyper ledger borough so this is a nervous or a blockchain based system like system so what sort of language is solidity well it is statically statically typed and these smart contracts that ethereum i mean solidity allow you to create they run on something called an evm they run on evm which is ethereum virtual machines again gonna have a separate video covering ethereum virtual machines but these basically allow you to use the ethereum platform the ethereum blockchain implementation without having to create you know another blockchain essentially every single time you want to create a whole new application or when a different developer wants to create it so it's just a very easy way to start creating decentralized dc distributed systems without having to you know rewrite a lot of stuff hence why you use a language it's tried and tested and you just reuse what people have already created and 
Solidity also provides the ability to create applications that implement self-enforcing business logic embodied within these smart contracts. So if I scroll back up, so when I was saying these smart contracts over here that they are basically business logic that is automatically run based on a specific condition and these are self-enforced so then there isn't like a user there managing it and having a look saying oh this condition has been met now let's say release funds for example if that is the scenario it's automatically done if the scenario is met and if the scenario isn't I mean the condition should say if the condition isn't met then it doesn't release them and finally what sort of language is it in terms of what does it feel like well it's designed around no, that's meant to be an E. <laughs> I like some sort of dodgy cake. The ECMA script. So it is the ECMA script syntax. So it's very similar to JavaScript. So a lot of web developers will be right at home here. It was influenced by many big languages. I'm sure you've heard of all of these. JavaScript, obviously. JavaScript influenced by C++, by Python, and by PowerShell. So that's just a history, what it is, and why you might want to use Solidity. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. But if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. And as usual, Stay cool and stay frosty.